out on safari today, Justin has been sick, has sort of had the sniffles and yeah. feeling under the weather for the last few days. And Justin and I were sort of kvetching about how we were, we were out of pharmaceuticals, we're way out in the middle of nowhere, there's no access to a pharmacy. So we asked Jacques here if, if he had any pills he could give us at the lodge, and of course the lodge can't prescribe medicine, but he said, well, why don't we just ha have some bush medicine? And as it turns out, bush medicine for a cold is elephant dung tea. I'm just going to run 20 meters this way, just check if there's a nice big dung pile then we can start again. More or less for the same reasons why it's good for colds and flus, will be very very good to clear up sinus. Uh, some people use it for headaches. Are you congested Justin? Not anymore. <laughs> well, it smells great, I can't wait to taste it. Well this is a piece of elephant poop that we've picked up out in the bush, brought it back to the lodge here. Now elephants don't digest a lot of what they take in. The best of times about 40% uh, give or take a few. Modern medicine rather comes from plants mostly. And elephants like they move through the bush, they eat a few leaves off that tree, the root and the bark of another. And all of the uh, medicinal values then will be packed all in the dung. How old is this dung? When was it dropped? This was probably dropped about six weeks ago probably. Okay, it's pretty so it's dry. Pretty dry, pretty old. It's been fermenting a bit in the sun. Okay. And how are you going to prepare it for us? What's the, what's the method here? Pretty simple, easy. Just boiled it up, okay. a little bit of hot water to filter it through a cloth, and it's ready to go. Okay, and this is what we have here, so uh, I think we should go ahead and give it a shot. Okay. Um, now since uh, Justin is the sick one, but since I am completely supportive of his efforts on this no baggage journey, I'm going to be partaking with him. I'm just smelling a little, a little hint of sphincter in there. Just the, 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 the slightest bit of uh, digestive enzyme, some roots, some berries, some fiber, and that's, yes, that, that's feces in there. So what, what you. do you say, is there a special toast before you drink um, elephant crap tea? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, okay, here we go. Elephant dung tea. Oh, that's interesting. It tastes how it smells, which is um, like a zoo. Like a zoo. It tastes like a zoo. It tastes like a barnyard, mm -hmm. like a wild animal barnyard. Might be better off just having a cold, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it's not disgusting. It's just not. No. It's not disgusting at all. I mean, if you look at this, it's dried vegetation. Mm -hmm. mm. It's just all filtered. in the mind that it's filtered through an elephant. dung that you're tasting. Yeah. Dry vegetation filtered through the colon of a pachyderm. So. Well, I gotta say, I'm. I'm you set to forget that part. Like, I'm happy that it's uh, it's older and dried because if it was wet and uh, moist, uh, I think I'd have a harder time stomaching it. It looks like Justin is about 25% into his cup of elephant dung tea, and apparently he will not get better until it's all gone. So are you going to do it like one shot, or are you going to sip it over the course of the afternoon? I'm going to sit with it. I'm going to sit with it for a while. <laughs> so we're going to put Justin on the veranda of his lodge um, with a nice view, and he can. Um, Stare wistfully into the African bush and drink tea made of elephant crap. So is, so is elephant dung tea going to change your life? Are you never going to go to a pharmacy again? Well, the problem is finding it in the United States. Um, I don't know what they do with leftover elephant dung at the zoos, but perhaps there's a new industry uh, that has yet to be, be tapped in the American market. This could be revolutionary. You could. Um, you could move on to be sort of an international elephant dung merchant for the sick people of the world. Yeah, we can go on this to, in on this together if you want, 50-50. That's true, that's true. We could, uh, I'm trying to think, we could be like... Um, Pots and glow. Pot <laughs> Pots and glow. Pots and glow. <laughs> Dealers in elephant feces tea products. <laughs>《Drinking Elephant Ass Tea》Do I regret it? No. It was, uh, it was a good experience. Uh, I, did, I don't think anything for my sickness, but uh, it was a good experience, so uh, I don't regret it. Okay. And um, I know you, you, you kept a game face on on camera. Was mm -hmm. it disgusting or no? Yeah, it was gross. Um, I tend to have a gag reflex that... Uh, um, I just sipped it a little bit um, each time, not as not to bring in. If I would have had a mouthful of it, uh, I definitely would have had to run off camera and, and vomit it back up. So.